Hello and welcome to the tutorial video of Black Horse Excellence. So today in this video, we will see how we can do the consolidation in the automation tool. In schedule 3 tool as well as in non corporate tool, you can do the branch wise consolidation. So in case you have a multiple tele data for different businesses or for different branches, so you can do the consolidation in the uh, automation tool. So to do the same, we will see the uh, process step by step for each of the things. So watch this video till last to understand everything in detail. So first we will have to come to the master sheet in master sheet. Uh, in the financial preparations option, you can see there is a option given over here type of financial under the type of financial. There are actually three options. One is a standalone to prepare a financial for a standalone entity. So another option is the branch consolidation. Uh, so today we are going to see this thing in detail and third option is the company consolidation. The process of consolidation is more or less same for the branch consolidation as well as for the company consolidation. Only difference is additionally we will have to pass the uh, minority interest adjustment in case of the company consolidation. So now we will select the uh, branch consolidation. Once you select the branch consolidation, then in the right bottom of master sheet itself, there is the uh, section table available to define the name of the branches. So up to 25 branches you can do the consolidation. So from drop down list you can select the number of entities or number of branches that you would uh, you want to do the consolidation and then you can define the name. As of now in our example I have defined the three of the names in our case Delhi is a HO then we have another two branches Mumbai and Bangalore. So we have to define these three names and then we can come to the trial balance. So over here uh, you can see that one more column has got added that is the name of branch or name of company first column column a so here the process is that we will have to import data for each branch one by one the data will get merged one below one so we will have to select in cell a1 which branch we are importing uh, we will select the branch that we want to import we'll select delhi ho and we will open the tally data for that branch so i'll come to the tally and here I can see that I have three of the uh, branches or uh, three of the tele data are open and out of that I'll make it Delhi as a my active data. So I'll just click on that and my active company is now Delhi and period which is being selected over here as you can see that is 2023-24. So we will just come to the automation tool and we'll just click on this button import from tally. So when you click on this button import from tally it will ask you that whether you have open correct tele data for Delhi HO or not. If you are not sure then you can uh, press no. So the process will get stopped over here and if you are sure that you have opened correct tele data for that branch then you can select yes. Now what this tool will do it will import data for that branch and that against the trial balance the name of the branch will get assigned in column A. Yeah so the trial balance for that branch has got imported. Here we can see that multiple columns has got filled up. This is the TV and in the first column there is the name of the branch has got assigned. Now after the data which has got imported over here we'll have to do the adjustment. You must be aware of the stock and PNL related adjustment that we have to do and after that we can click on apply default grouping. So that will do the majority ledgers grouping and whatever grouping is pending that we will have to complete uh, that grouping we will have to complete. Once our grouping for this branch is complete then we can import data for another branch. Now I have already completed grouping for this branch let me open that file. Yeah so this is the Delhi HO branch account where I have already completed the grouping. You can see on top of the respective column the grouping done message comes and now we will import data for another branch. So to import data for another branch again we will have to select uh, the name of the branch in cell A1 over here we will have to select which branch we are importing. So I have selected over here Mumbai and now I'll just activate the tally data for Mumbai. I'll come to the tally and I'll click on Black Horse Excellence Private Limited Mumbai. So you can see that the tally data for Mumbai has got activated and uh, we will we'll just click on this button import from tally. So when you click on this button import from tally uh, again it will ask that whether you have open correct tally data or not. What this tool will do it will just merge this trial balance below the trial balance of Delhi. So we can see the trial balance for Delhi is up to row number 365 just below that it will import the trial balance for Mumbai branch. So we can see over here the trial balance for Mumbai has got imported just below the trial balance of Delhi. 
and after that uh, we can uh, follow the same process we can uh, pass the adjustment entry and we can click on apply default grouping the good part of this tool is that when you click on apply default grouping whatever grouping that you have already done for the previous branch in our case we have already done the grouping for delhi branch so that grouping will remain intact that will not get changed or you will not have to do any regrouping for the previous branch which you have already imported so this is how we need to import data for each branch one by one so now i have already completed the grouping for this mumbai branch also and i have one more file where where i have already completed a grouping uh, for bangalore branch also i have three of the branches and i have imported data for all those three branches and grouping is done now let me show it to you how the financials will look like so we can come to the balance sheet so this balance sheet will be consolidated pnl will be consolidated you can generate the notes uh, you can click on this button prepare notes after the grouping is completed so this notes will also get generated the consolidated additionally we can come to the annexure so annexure will also uh, be generated as a consolidated and from consolidation point of view what you additional get over here is branch balance sheet columnar branch balance sheet and columnar branch pnl over here will get generated one more thing is that there is elimination so whenever uh, there is a case of the consolidation we have to eliminate inter branch transaction this inter branch transaction uh, will not get knocked off automatically but in the trial balance we have given option where you need to do the elimination so that elimination when you do in trial balance based on that this elimination report this elimination report over here will get generated now let us come to the trial balance we'll see how elimination can be done so in the trial balance uh, if you see if you scroll and write there is a column k as a inter inter company balances so there is a inter company balances column is there simply in this column you will have to select again which branch you want to eliminate this for example i have this 50 lakhs rupees as a investment in the books of delhi i have a investment uh, for mumbai branch so this i want to eliminate because this investment i'll be having in delhi books also i'll be having in mumbai books also this is the intercompany transaction which i want to eliminate so i can select the name of the branches against which i want to eliminate this now let's take let me show it to you with example now let us see the examples of inter branch transaction so delhi branch has sold 15 lakhs 50000 rupees of goods to mumbai branch as on 31st march 2024 they have a receivables of around 10 lakhs rupees now what the balance will look like in this case there is a sales to mumbai branch in the books of delhi of 15 lakhs 50000 rupees and there is a debtor balance also 10 lakhs rupees on contrary in the books of mumbai there is a purchase and there is a creditor also so now let us come to the tool and see how elimination can be done in this case so uh, we will just come to the tool and we'll just in the tb select since i have all the names with the black horse name so i will just uh, filter that i'll filter that and i'll just show to we'll have to identify which ledger we want to eliminate so in the books of this one ledger if we see in the books of delhi there is a 10 lakhs rupees debit balance that is a trade receivable so this we want to eliminate that's why we have selected mumbai against that particular ledger similarly in the books of mumbai there is a creditors balance of 10 lakhs rupees this we want to eliminate so we have selected against that ledger as a delhi ho branch now this is how against both of the those ledger you can select uh, the uh, counterparty branch name the amount for that will get eliminated now let me show it to you uh, another transaction which are related over there so in the books of delhi there will be a 50 lakhs rupees debit balance and in the books of uh, mumbai there will be 50 lakhs rupees credit balance similarly there is a one more transaction in the books of delhi there is a 80 lakhs rupees investment against mumbai uh, bangalore branch now let's see how we can eliminate this so i'll come to the automation tool and you can see over here in the books of delhi first ledger is that 50 lakhs rupees is the debit balance i have not yet eliminated this before that let me show it to you what is the amount in balance sheet in the balance sheet since that particular transaction is grouped under the investment so under the investment you can see there is a total balance of 1 crore 46 lakhs rupees in the current year now i will come to the trial balance and we will eliminate this investment 
since this investment is in the mumbai so we will select the counter party uh, counter branch account there is one more 80 lakhs rupees similarly uh, investment in branch uh, bangalore branch so we will eliminate this also bangalore branch and now i will show it to you i have not yet eliminated the counter part of bangalore as well as mumbai uh, branch but before that let me show it to you what comes in the balance sheet so we have eliminated 50 lakhs rupees and 80 lakhs rupees total comes to the 1 crore 30 lakhs rupees the amount over here in the non current investment it was previously 1 crore 46 lakhs rupees out of that 1 crore 30 lakhs rupees amount has got eliminated now we have eliminated only one part we have not yet eliminated the second part hence our balance sheet is also not telling to that extent so 1 crore 30 lakhs rupees difference is also coming over there now let me further show you to you how this thing will look in elimination report so if we come to the elimination report over here if you see there is a first table that is the elimination report under the elimination report we can see in the books of Delhi against Mumbai asset has been eliminated uh, in the books of Delhi again against Bangalore 80 lakhs rupees has been eliminated but there is a red sign comes that you have not yet eliminated the liability in the respective uh, counterparty of the uh, branch this is the one table second below there is one more table that is a inter company or inter branch transaction or balance this this table will show you to you total amount of transaction which has been eliminated so over here we can see that we we have uh, 60 lakhs rupees 80 lakhs rupees asset which has got eliminated then there is a income which has got eliminated against that income 15 lakhs 50,000 expense has been eliminated so now let us come to the trial balance we will eliminate the uh, another another part also now we will eliminate the HO account also in the books of branch in the books of Mumbai we will eliminate HO over here so we will select in column K the branch that we are eliminating and in the books of Bangalore also we will select the branch that we want to or HO account that we want to eliminate now since i have eliminated both the part and if i now come to the balance sheet there is no difference the liability has also been eliminated asset side has also been eliminated and if i further come to the elimination report so we will see over here there is no difference in the elimination table the first table there is no difference in the elimination table but below that you can see the summary of the transaction total of the transaction which has got eliminated over here now let me show to you one more example now in case of in our first example there was uh, sales to the mumbai branch of 15 lakhs 50 thousand rupees now what happens in many of the cases branches do not have a branch wise sales account so at that point of time we will have to, what we will have to do we will have to pass one journal entry one adjustment entry we will have to pass i have passed that type of entry over here we will have to pass in this example the amount is 15 lakhs 50 thousand debit we will do and credit we will do and we will give the same grouping for that ledger and then the ledger which we want to eliminate against that we will select the intercompany balance intercompany branch that we want to eliminate so this thing we can do in case you have you do not have a separate ledger for inter branch revenue or purchases so this is how you can prepare your consolidated branch wise financial statement in this automation tool now let me show you to you very interesting part of this automation tool recently we have released the consolidation add-on tool now in the original schedule 3 automation tool you can only have a branch wise columnar balance sheet and pnl that also the view is limited up to five branches only now in case you have a more than five branches what to do so for that we have released this consolidation add-on tool in this consolidation add-on tool all you need to do is once your financial consolidated financial are ready then simply you just mention the file path of schedule 3 and file name with the extension and then just click on this button import data from schedule 3 so all your data from that schedule 3 tool will get imported into this consolidation add-on tool and after that i have already imported data for our example and now if we come to the branch wise balance sheet after that this branch wise columnar balance sheet with the elimination column this is also additional feature over here you get the gross uh, total column with that elimination column and then there is a net total column the branch wise balance sheet and branch wise pnl over here will get generated further 
Additionally, not only the branch wise balance sheet BNL, but you can even generate notes also. Simply, you need to click on this button, prepare notes, and all your notes, all the notes which are same in the financial, similar to their notes with the branch wise columnar, will get generated over here. This is not limited to three or five branches, whatever number of branches, up to 25 branches, you can generate this. And further, there is an annexure report also. You can just see over here in the annexure also, you get the branch wise columnar uh, annexure ledger wise report will get generated. Over here. So, there is further check sheet is also available. So, in case there is any differences um, uh, over, over here, so that also you will get notified over here. Uh, further, we have given the how to use sheet in this tool itself. So, you can use this with the steps which has been given over here. So, in case you have not yet used the consolidation add-on tool, go and use the consolidation add-on tool and let us know your views about this uh, tool. Thank you very much for watching this video.